Hi St. Jude friends, welcome back. Um, we have a really fun project today getting us ready for Easter time. So if you see here, we are going to be using egg cartons to make these little baby chicks. All right, so the materials that you're going to need for this project are an egg carton. It could be any size as long as it's made out of this carton material, okay? Um, so an egg carton, you're gonna need a pair of scissors, some masking tape. If you don't have masking tape at home, you can use um, regular clear tape. Um, a glue stick or a glue bottle, whatever you have at home. A Sharpie and a yellow um, marker. Or if you have paint at home, a yellow paint and a black paint. And then you'll need a paintbrush if you're using paint and a pencil. All right, so let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our scissors and you're going to cut two of the um, egg carton cups out. Okay, so I've already done that here, like this. And you're gonna notice that the cups are not gonna be totally circular. You're gonna have these peaks and stuff. So what we're going to do next is we're gonna trim it. So if you notice, there's an edge, kind of like a lip right there. You're gonna cut that off. You're gonna turn it and try to match that same height. And I'm gonna do it on the other one. So if you miss this one, you'll see me do it on the other one. And I'm just taking this off because I want the cups to kind of um, close into like a perfect mouth. So there's one. Now I'm doing this one. So I take that lip, that square part, cut that off. Okay, turn it around, match it. Cut it around, okay. After that, if you have these little areas where they kind of come off, you can just take those off, cut those off. And don't worry right now if you have pockets or holes in your cup, we're gonna cover those up with the tape in a minute. All right, there we go. So we have our two cups. So they're gonna fit like that. So now I'm going to take my tape. So remember, if you have um, masking tape or regular tape, doesn't matter, you can use either or. I'm gonna tape those sides. So anywhere where I see that hole, or that cave, let's call it, I'm gonna cover that up with some tape. So I'm gonna take some more tape. Okay, so there's one. It's all covered up. Let's do the next one. For some, of the, for some of the little caves that you see there, you can cover it up with two pieces of tape and that's okay. All right, almost done. This one, I just need one more piece of tape. Okay, so now that I have my two cups filled, it's time to put them together to make a Head, a little body like that. So I just stack them, up, stack them up on top of each other and now I'm gonna put a piece of tape on the back. So take a little piece of tape, line those up the way that I want. So let's say like this, then tape those together on the back like that. And then 
presses a little bit more. Okay, so now I know my chick is gonna open up like this, okay? So the next part is going to be to decorate it. So what I'm going to use is paint. If you guys have markers, you can take your yellow marker and color it in, and then you can take your Sharpie and add the eyes. So if you see here on the example, the, the body is covered with the yellow marker and then the two eyes are with the Sharpie. And I just used an orange uh, marker for the beak. We'll show you how to do the beak in a second. Okay, so let's get to the painting part. Take my brush, dip it in the yellow, paint it. All right. And remember, if you don't have paint, it's okay. You can always use your markers. Remember to work on a mat, so in case you get um, anything, if you mess up or anything like that, then you get it, you can clean off the mat instead of getting it on your table or whatever you're working on. Okay, I'm just gonna paint the front for now, but what you guys can do is paint the front of the body first, let that dry, and then when that's dry, you can paint the back. Okay, so I got the front of the body there done. With the black paint, um, I'm just gonna dip a, my pencil that I was gonna use in the black and do two little dots. One, two. Okay, cute little eyes. All right, now let's get to the beak. So I'm gonna glue the beak later but what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to make it. So whatever leftover cardboard that you have from your um, egg carton, take that, cut a little piece off, okay? And then I'm going to measure a little triangle. Parents, if you want, you can help your child to draw by drawing the triangle first for them, and then they can cut it out. Or if they can't cut it out, you can always cut it out for them. Okay, so there's my beak. I'm gonna color that orange. So if you have orange paint, you can always paint it. If you just have an orange marker, use that. Let's say you don't have orange, what can I use? Be creative, maybe you can have a black beak or a red beak, okay? All right, and then when this is dry, I'm going to glue the little beak right here on the top of that mouth like that. And so when his mouth opens and closes, I can, that part will go up and down, okay? So I'm gonna let that dry first. Um, but yeah, that's the project. Here is the finished example. Um, you guys can make a little chick. You can make a daddy chick. You can make a mommy chick. You can make a whole family of chicks. Okay, get creative and have fun with this project, okay? Any um, art projects that you finish, please um, email them to me or to Miss Sella's email and we will post them on our Facebook page, all right? Really keep those uh, projects coming because they make me really happy when I see what you've done, how creative you've made it, um, and things like that, all right? So I hope you have a great Holy Week and I look forward to seeing your projects, all right? Bye, guys!